Look over us and make a report to the border checkpoint. Come on, Schmo. Better have them send an ambulance from Tel Aviv. be reasonable for once and get off your pedestal. You always want everything your way. This time it's going to be mine. You've got Paris on the brain, I know. But this scene isn't Paris or some lousy little dive. It's a student's dormitory in Tel Aviv. Change it, then. It's a very simple solution. Use your brain. Darling, don't be small time. Oh, what's the use? We'll go on in 15 minutes. Five-minute coffee break. <laughs> Running dry, Sadek. Hey. Anyway, there I am on this wall, and I'm praying out loud that this funny character won't pull his gun on me. <gasps> How frightfully exciting. Yeah. May I? Thanks. <laughs> Thank you. If I were you, they'd start getting on my nerves. You're too good for this amateur stuff. You can really dance. 
You know something? I've been thinking of opening a club of my own and offering you a contract. Just one performance every night. That's all, but sensational. Dean, I've told you more than once, all you need is a proper handling. And I suppose you think you can do the handling. I'll give you a real build-up. Dina, a kitten from Saint-Germain-de-Prés. <laughs> How's that? Oh, thank you. Oh, I can't imagine anything less attractive than a club in this dismal hole. But my club's going to hit the big time. And that's not just talk. I've got the money and I've also got the experience. You'll be the star. It's your chance. I'm giving you a big break. I've heard that before. Why don't you give it up? You're not my type. Don't be too sure. Your marshal isn't so hot either. Or is he? What makes you stick by him? Something you wouldn't believe anyway. <laughs> Grand, are you? Club. What did you say? No, but I'll be right over. Lucas Ben Canaan. This membership card of the theater club is all he had on him. And I've got to solve this problem. And I'm afraid that they might have taken someone else along who was still over there. I can't imagine what they expect to find, risking their lives. It's crazy. Citra. But why Citra? Oh, love of adventure and that stuff. The mystery of the desert, temples and ruins of Citra. Young people have their problems everywhere in the world. They aren't really bad. They just have to grow up. I don't want them to die before they've got time to grow up. No one has returned alive yet but this Lucas kid. Excuse me, Commissioner, but a young lady is waiting outside. Nice of you to have come so soon. My name is Dina. We want you to have a look at a patient here for identification. Mm -hmm. Where is he? Right this way. Ah, Commissioner Barzilla, just one question. What does the police say? Was the wounded man, uh, this Lucas Ben, whatever his name is, really in Citra? Sorry, but... Now, listen, you can't just refuse to make a statement. I don't I'll want read this a... case publicized. That'll only make others try the same foolish thing. Yeah, prank. but... Thank you, Nurse. Come in, please. Well, you know him? Who were his companions? Is he going to die? He's in very bad shape. Oh. As a matter of fact, we've all been wondering why he hadn't been at the club for a whole week. So, he's been gone a whole week, has he? And who else is gone? I don't know. We have a great many members. They were headed for Citra. Am I right? Well, how should I know? Oh, surely you must have talked about it. What are you trying to hide? Nobody said anything to me. And that's all. I don't know Lucas very well, except as a club member. I'm afraid I must ask you to finish this off tonight. Oh, certainly, Doctor. I'd hope you'd be able to give us some real help. Why don't you answer my questions? You know him better than you're admitting. You, Commissioner. I'll see you in my office. All right. As far as I know, he works in his father's garage. The doctor's afraid there's very little hope. Don't you think you'd better tell me what you know? Or do you want to take the responsibility for more trouble? What can I tell you? Then I don't know anything myself. We can't protect our boys once they've crossed the line. People who do that because of some half-baked sense of national honor not only endanger their own lives, but they add to political tension, which is serious enough as it is. Why don't you tell me all you know? It's the only way to help your friends. I'm sure you're right. The only trouble is I've already told you everything I know. Can I go now?
Lucas, do you hear me? Lucas, Lucas, try to understand what I'm saying. Where's Marco? Did you do what you planned to do? Yes, yes Lucas, it's me. Tell me where the burial chamber is. The burial chamber is in Citra. Marco's hurt. We couldn't get him away. Where is the burial chamber? Which one? When you get there. Here. What do we owe the honor of your visit? Well, I was just wondering how you were doing. Ever since you left, fine. And you? Since I left this place, Grand. My nights are long. My time is my own. I have a lot of friends. And I might even get to see Paris. And the university? <laughs> of course, as I mean. We paid your tuition, remember? It was exactly as dull as the healthy existence on this awful farm. Well, what did you come out here for? To see David. I want to ask him something. It's all right. I only want to ask a question. I'm not afraid of you. He's on watch. Over there, on the water tower. Right. Oh, come on. pretty clever with a remark like that, but it, 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 please don't do that, will you? Why? Don't tell me it makes you nervous. I just don't like it. What's up? I was in the hospital. Lucas is dead. Lucas? Hmm? He was over in Citra. They took two bullets out of him. Good Lord. What was the idea? Four of them were there. He came back all alone. Marco was with him. Marco? But that's incredible. Marco isn't dumb. David, he's still alive. I know it. You must help me. We've got to save him. Oh. Somehow we've got to get him out of there. He's in trouble, David. He has been hurt. We can't let him die. Even if he is still alive, the two of us would never be able to make it alone. There'd have to be at least four of us to give us any chance. We need camels. We need supplies. We need weapons. Do you think you can get all of that by sheer magic? Don't bother to think of more excuses. I've had enough. Forget about it. I know someone who'll come along. I'll ask him. 
He's got the guts to do it. And he'll give me all the money that we need. He'll be very happy to come. I'm talking to myself. It's a waste of time. Yeah. Hello. But eating her, is she too proud to say hello? Ha ha. Hey, wasn't that our Dina? She's not our Dina anymore. She's developed her talents as a member of Cafe Society. Your very favorite pupil, wasn't she? Don't forget what she had to go through in her childhood. Her parents were murdered. She spent her entire youth with strangers, hiding in basements and closets. When she came here, just eight years old, she was frightened and full of hate. Full of hate and distrust against everybody who came near her. Who wants to blame her? She's not the only one. Plenty of other children went through bad times, but they got over it. They don't just think about themselves all the time. Look at Hannah, for instance. Her childhood was no bit of roses either. Hi. Want some soup? Yeah. The brown cow just wouldn't keep still today. Uh-huh. I'm afraid we're going to have to let her go dry. Yeah. I hope the poor thing won't have the same trouble she had with her last cow. Yeah. Don't you think that we ought to call the vet? Hmm? Yeah. What did she want? Hmm? I asked what Dina wanted you to do. What she wanted me to do? Uh, nothing, nothing at all. She certainly didn't come here just for fun. Uh, she has some kind of personal trouble. You know how it oh. is. Oh. Well, every time she comes here, she brings trouble. And just look at the way she runs around. All that gooey lipstick. And her perfume. <laughs> well, as a change, it smells better than that crummy old oh, barn. Well, if you feel that way, why don't you spend your time with her? <laughs> <laughs> Another kind of cooperation than you think. About how much would it cost to fit out a five-man expedition? Weapons, camels, supplies, and so forth. Wait a minute. What are you talking about? I mean that under certain conditions, I might offer you a very interesting mm. business deal. It seems that a certain Marco is this girl Dina's steady boyfriend. And this Marco has been missing for a week, too? Yes, sir. In that case, I'm reasonably sure that Marco, Lucas Ben Canaan, and the other two all joined together on the same excursion. Yes, it certainly looks that way. I was unable to find out who the other two men were. They haven't got anything to do with the theater club. I'm sure Dina knows a great deal more than she's told us so far. Try to get hold of her tomorrow morning. I'll see if I can't get some more information out of her. Please try to have her here at 10 tomorrow morning. Yes, sir. And with my money, you want to organize a heroic life-saving operation, don't you? Great idea. But I'm not buying. All right. Let's have the details. 
I'm not an authority, of course. I remember, though, that there was a lot in the papers about it, about the scrolls that were found in an old forgotten tomb. Mm-hmm. That was a great discovery. It's great now. I know about scrolls that are worth a fortune. It should be fairly easy to sell things like that for about half a million. Well, I prefer to spend my money on something else. Marco lies over in Citra, and beside him the scrolls. Lovely scrolls, but it's worth a small fortune. That's the profits for you, if you'll give us the money and join the party. I've been underestimating you, Dina. If it's all the way you say it is. I'm your man. On my terms, of course. Without me, you'll find neither Marco nor the scrolls. Well, you seem to be pretty sure of yourself. You bet I am. Fifty percent for you, Tzadik. And you make it something else. Hmm. This proposition is beginning to interest me. You... You can think it over, Tzadik. I'll be back tomorrow. Good night, dear. you get here? I asked at the theater club. Oh. I ought to slap your face. Why? Because I've been with Tzadik? Don't worry. He never touched so me. So you say. But did you touch him? For what you wanted? I did. He's coming with me. Now all we need is three more people. No. We need two more. Julia Gasco. Haven't you got anything better? This is Pate. Yes, yes, of course. Uh, uh, won't you step over to the cabins? This isn't a kid's game this time. We are planning a real expedition. Will you come with us? You bet I'll come with you. Man, that would really be a deal. Uh, I've already got a pistol. I'll bring that along just in case. Uh, wait a minute. We'll need walkie-talkies. I can round those up, too. And besides, we can get the... Good. So you are coming along. Um, that makes four of us. Uh, can I keep your car, Mike? I've got to run over to Jerusalem. I know someone at the university who's important. But of course, as long as you want it. But uh, you'll have to pay for the gas. Okay, then it's all settled. Yes, but uh, tell me, uh, couldn't we carve our names into a stone or something while, while we're there? Sure. No, I'm afraid that it's not I had in mind after all. Good day. Come again, won't you? Good day. We come in here just to listen to the latest records for nothing. You've been doing it wrong. Play only half of whatever record it is, and then they buy it. Or else...
The illustrations are particularly good, but then, of course, it's awfully expensive. I really don't know whether I should have paid all that money for it when I hardly have enough left for the rent. Oh, please be careful. You'll make a mess of everything. Oh, nice of you to pay me a visit, Dina. What on earth are you doing there, hmm? These are fragments of very old writings, and I hope uh, I can piece them together somehow. Oh, and what if you don't succeed? Then there'll be another link missing in our knowledge of ancient times and customs. Julius, hmm? you know a lot about ancient writings, don't you? I've been fooling around with them long enough. Have you ever heard about scrolls? Scrolls with original texts from the Bible. The famous Dead Sea Scrolls, is that oh, what you mean? Everybody knows about those. But I'm talking about the scrolls of Citra. <laughs> of course, I've heard rumors that there could be such scrolls in the old Christian hiding places in Citra, but I don't believe them until they are proven. And nobody can get there from here. Oh, come. It has been proven. A friend of mine has found such scrolls. How on earth did he get there and back again? And what makes you sure they're genuine? He didn't come back. He's been wounded. We have to get him and the scrolls out of there. You must come with us, Julius. What are you talking about? There's no way of even getting over there. There is, too. I can explain that to you when we're on the way. I'm not crossing the border. The law is the law, and we've got to respect it. Why should we respect it? Nobody consulted us when it was made. You yourself once said that this is all one country. That boundaries are a hindrance to the cultural development of a rising young nation. But I've always hated any form of violence. We are only trying to help someone. And who has the responsibility if something happens? Julius, no one has the slightest idea that these scrolls even exist. Nobody's ever seen them. You would be the first. Above all, we've got to take every precaution not to be recognized in enemy territory. That means just this. We've got to look like a Bedouin caravan. That's simple. We'll wear costumes like at a Papuan party. Precisely. We'll need burnaces and riding animals. Ponies. And not only... The caravan has ponies, donkeys, and camels when it's on the move. That's right. All right. We'll leave Beersheba as early as possible, and we'll ride to a point on our side of the borderline. We should make it by early evening sometime, and then we'll spend the night in a cave. Okay. The next morning before sunrise, we cross the border here. From there, we'll need about two days to get through the Wadi Murat and reach this canyon, which is the only approach to Sitra. On the way back, we'll go through Wadi Abu Alika. Just a minute. The valley of the Abu Alika is a much shorter route. Why don't we go through there in the first place? I want to avoid using the same route twice. It might give them a chance of ambushing us if anyone should see us on the way in and get suspicious. Hmm. That's really stupid. Get there fast and then hurry home. If you don't mind, that's my business. I'm the one who has to get you back safely, right? He's our chief. Yes, don't forget, we all agreed to put him in charge. Well, were you really an officer with the paratroopers? Yes, he was in action for three years. He's actually a hero. Okay, make your decisions, you professional from a kibbutz. Okay, Mike, you get the two walkie-talkies. You'll need a baby as a Bedouin lady. You mean we're really taking a baby along? Oh, Tzadik, you take care of the weapons on the list and buy the supplies at Beersheba. You, Rosen, get stretcher and medical supplies. I'll buy the animals. Tomorrow morning in Beersheba, okay? Right. Mm -hmm. Good. Thank you. 
It's almost time, eh? Yeah, almost. Yeah, there's Sadik. And there's Dina. When Mike gets here, we can move out. Neither did I. Hi, gang. All set? Oh, no. <laughs> Dina, would you like a little drink before we start? No, thanks. Well, I don't know about the rest of you, but I sure want one. <laughs> hey, what? Shh. That's whiskey. I know it is. There's a well over there. Fill this right up to the top with water. And take a good look at that well. It'll make for pleasant memories on the way. Hi, <laughs> sure. Uh, where do you get this? From White Earp? No, from Napoleon, you jerk. That's really a swell gun. I, uh... Hey, shall I hand out the guns now? No, tonight in the cave. Let's go. <laughs>
down. I feel awful. Oh, oh boy, wonder. Huh. Even heroes have their human weaknesses. <laughs> All right, down you go. Oh. Mm. Funny, the same symptoms as in seasickness. Okay. The man of the world. But well, come on, we haven't got all day. Let's go. How much further is it to the cave? I've got to check my map on that. Uh, it's hard to settle. Tomorrow, maybe you can try my camel. this map on the table in his room. Yes, this morning. His gun has gone, too. I'm frightened. Well, thanks for coming in with this right away. Your information will be extremely helpful. I only wonder whether we can stop them before they've crossed the border. But you must. Plot the map coordinates, please. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Headquarters calling border detachment, air ground control, all road patrols. Don't you know that? Roger. Yeah. I'm looking for one myself. Come on, man. Let's go. That was too close for comfort. Yeah. If they catch us on this side, it means jail. If they catch us on the other side, it'll be worse than that. Were they looking for us? I guess so. Mm-hmm. Maybe we'd better change right here, huh? Right. Okay. <laughs> David, hmm? when does it start getting really dangerous? Mike, the border is just 300 yards away from here. Uh-huh. Oh.
Mike, we've got to build a fire. See if you can find some dry wood and get to work on it. Man, is this romantic. Nobody will ever believe it. <laughs> I hope there aren't any snakes in here. You never know. I'm afraid this is hopeless. Hey, Mike. Hmm? That way you'll be at it all night. If I were you, I'd try using the torch. Oh, you mean with a... Oh, good idea. Good fire, isn't it? Better than central heating. Just you make sure it doesn't go out. How do you like my fire, Zadek? Nice and smoky. But keep at it, Eagle Scout. Mm. You'll learn your merit bad yet. Ah, ha, ha. What are those, flares? Man, look. Stun gun. Give me one. Funny hand grenades. Look. Huh? What's this? Have you gone off your rocker? Down, you fool! Cover! Hey, look what I found. These... Hey, Tzadik, keep your hands off Dina. Dina? What concern is Dina of yours? I thought you came along on this trip to get your friend Marco out of Citra. Yeah, and to keep an eye on his girl, hear me? Certainly. But then keep an eye on Dina, not on me. Yeah. That's about a thousand years old. <laughs> what do you think you're doing? Junior plays with hand grenades, and you fool around with stones. A regular kindergarten. <laughs> Everyone's having fun. What did you say? This cave is really a treasure trove. On our way back, I'll have to give it a thorough going over. Excuse me for asking. Can you shoot, Rosen? Shoot what for? I suppose you don't even want to shoot. No.
We've found the cave where they camped last night. That means they're moving exactly according to the route marked on the map. Can we stop them before they reach the border? Keep your fingers crossed. Tell them we'll try to head them off. David, a plane! They've seen us. What's that? That plane is looking for us. We've got to get across the border. Right. Come on. Come on. Hurry. It's only a few more yards. Sila, get moving. Hurry up. It won't go any directly into a danger area. All of you turn back, you will not be prosecuted. Do not cross the border under any circumstances. I give you my word that no charges will be brought against you if you turn back immediately. Here, you try. Maybe they'll listen to you. David, David, please listen to me. It's Hannah. Come back, David. <laughs> in the lead, and we'll follow in close formation. That way we've got a better chance. All right, let's go. David! Get up. Come on. David! David! Wait, come back here, girl. Let me Anna, go. where you go? Let me come go. Back here. Let me go, back here. David! Please, David! <laughs> Let me help you. Huh? Go on, I'll take this side. cigarette. Thanks. Don't. Why, I kept my promise. Don't you think you should keep yours? Go over there. What are you stalling for? The others will never know. I want you. Over there. Mm -hmm. That's Uri. 
He was with Marco and the others on that trip. <laughs> Those are hyenas. Only corpses interest them. We'd better bury him and remove all the traces. If Julius and Mike see this, they'd turn back immediately. And that wouldn't even be so stupid. David, how can you say that? We've got to reach Citra as soon as possible. Think of Marco. That's who I am thinking of. You are very unfair. I have to keep up Sadek's interest in this trip. We couldn't have gotten this far without him and his money. I, um, I don't know. I don't trust you anymore, Dina. I'm afraid I made a mistake in ever trusting you. And you're making a mistake again. What's cooking? It's the middle of the night. Nothing, Boy Scout. Nothing special. We're planning a burial for someone. A tourist who found the road to Citra too rough. Oh. What? This is the road over which Moses led his people when he couldn't go through Citra. This ah. way. A living Bible was brought along. Take it easy. Don't get Gina, nervous. What are we going to do if they start shooting? The barrel's here! Wait here. I've got an idea. Dina, bring your baby over here. Hold it up in front of you so it's plainly visible. Get up! Hurry, Dina. Do what he tells you. Give me the compass, please. I'm not your errand boy. Get it yourself. Oh, stop fighting. It's so senseless. Shouldn't we really try to get along? After all, we have the same goal. I'm going to cool off. Certainly. The same goal. Citra. There's more than Citra to worry about. Yeah, you're right. The return trip is a problem.
man with a dirty thing to do, shooting without even warning. Come on, Dina. Take the camera. <laughs> Don't have any cover. Can't we change marks, Tadek? Oh, all Please, right. Won't go fast. I'll fix this baby. It's your funeral. I'll teach it a few ballet steps. at their moments of glory in the course of the centuries. The whole place used to belong to us. Now we have to come here illegally. Oh! Okay, we'll put our camp over there. Yeah, and then we'll... Why bother with that? Let's find Marco and then let's get out of here. or we'll lose time. Rosen, where do you think we should start searching? In one of the smaller temples. That's where I would look for the scroll. We'd better start over there. Right. Come on, Mike. Take the walkie-talkies along. Mike, you stay here and keep watch. Why me? You're always here. Uh, Well? 
nothing but crumbling stone. Come on! After all, the scrolls must be around here somewhere. First of all, we've got to find Marco. Got me running errands again. <laughs> oh. Now we've got to find the entrance to the burial chamber. you to keep watch up on the hill. Oh, look, why can't I just for one? Well, oh, all right, darn it. Ouch! Nothing here. It's all solid rock. the entrance. This could be it. Hurry, fellows. Here, let me do that. Can you manage? Of course I can. Hold it. David, we need more rope. Give me a hand, will you, Rosen? Secure that rope over there. Right you are. Hello, Mike. David calling Mike. David calling Mike. David calling Mike. Over to you. Over. This is Mike. What's up? Bring him some more rope. Okay. And more torches. Okay. And make it snappy, chum. Give me the torch, Rosen. somewhere in the neighborhood. We've had it. You must be crazy. I thought you were trying to kill me. How was I to know? It's like murder. Easy now. Murder, murder. Who said it's murder? I didn't even have time to think. Be quiet. 
Calm down. Marco. Where's Marco? She's right. We've got to get Marco out. But what about the Bedouin? If any of his tribesmen find us, they'll take horrible revenge on every one of us. I tell you, we've got to turn back. Relax, for heaven's sake. Try imitating a man. Take me along, you'll never... Sure, we'd find you. What's keeping Dina so long? He's got a raging fever and a broken leg. Somehow that's what we came for. him after all. Are you coming back to pick us up? Uh-huh. We'll meet at the exit of the Wadi Murat. You've got to catch him. You said it. Get going. See you later. Good luck.
I think you should rest a while, Lena. I think it's better if we leave Dina alone with him for a while. Uh-huh. What did you say? Dina. You are with me. Don't ever leave me. No, I will not leave you. I'm with you. I'm staying with you. Well, I, I was sure you'd come. Only I was scared you'd come too late. The pain and the loneliness. I must thank the others, too. David and Mike and Sonic. Sonic? He left all of us and went off. With his scrolls. With his scrolls? <laughs> it makes no difference. Why don't you let him keep them? But those are our scrolls. You know what we planned. Tina, promise me that you'll give the scrolls to a museum. We can't keep them. They belong to humanity. <laughs> Remember how at first you told me I was bad? And I was, Marco. There was no reason to be good. And then, through you, everything was changed. To the theater club? No. No, not very far. You know, when you dance, it's always as if you were dancing for me alone. All alone. Just for me. You look so lovely when you're dancing. Will we be there soon? Yes. We'll soon be there. You hear? Mike's band is playing. Hello, Sonic. Drinks on the house. Tina and I are getting married. She just said yes. Said she'd give it a try. We're going to Paris. Saint-Germain de Pré. Tina wants to go. Your aunt, Tina. Your performance. Why aren't you dancing? Yes. I'll dance for you.
gone mad. You stopped for rest Take when the... it easy, David. Marco is dead. That miserable Chaddock. I hope he breaks his neck. He's to blame for his death. Is he? Just what do you mean? He did exactly what was to be expected. As soon as he understood your nasty little game, that you were just play-acting, he wanted to have the scrolls all for himself. You weren't the only person who was self-centered, Dina. You fool. The scrolls. These are excerpts from the writings of King Solomon. Can you decipher that? And these crummy shreds of parchment bring all that money when they're sold? Yes. And their value for scholars can't even be estimated. Come on, fellas. and give me the scrolls. That's all Marco found them for me. He that loveth silver shall not be satisfied. Never mind your stupid quotations. You are getting on my nerves. Is that by King Solomon, too? Well, certainly not by Hemingway. Don't you know your Bible? I always miss Sunday school. The professor's so smart, it's a wonder he even talks to us. Let's go. Hey, they're coming. Up this way. cover somehow. Here's the shovel. When it gets dark, we'll dig in. And don't shoot before I say so. Be careful. They're liable to attack from all sides. And don't fire any volleys or we'll be out of ammunition right away. Don't fire at all if you haven't got a good target. Yes, okay. Here. Yeah. We've lost some fragments of the scrolls already. Let me see. Those miserable scrolls. When I think of how many lives they've cost already, Lucas and Marco and Sadek, and who knows who's next. The border's only three miles west of here. If we make it that far. Yeah, but how? We can try to make a break altogether. Then we'll either all be killed or we'll all make it. Or we try it singly. No, we can't do that. We have to stick together. Are you crazy? Then we'll have a mass burial. Alone, we'll have a much better chance. Yeah, you're right. We'll take off in an hour. You go first, Mike. But why should he go first? Because the first man has the better chances. Five minutes, I've got to start. Do you think we've got a chance to make it? It's so wonderful to be alive. What does King Solomon have to say about that? Mike, the scroll bears a wonderful sentence. For him that is joined with all the living, there is hope. Hope, Mike. So clever, this King Solomon.
Go on, Mike, take off. This is your chance. It's now or never. Take it slow for the first 500 yards and then start running for all you're worth. And, uh, and don't ever try to be a hero again. No, brother, you can count on that. Good luck. direction. Hurry! Dina, see that? That's the border over there. We've almost made it. over there, Dina? That's the border police. They can't interfere. That would be a violation of the frontier. With luck, one of us can make it. Yes. Yes, but which one? Did you ask that question when you fired the flare? David was wounded. He never would have made it this far. You want to live, don't you? You followed your goal right from the start. You used four men to further your pretty little plan. And they are dead, all of them. The death of every one of them is your fault. Now go to Paris or wherever you want her. But go. If you stay, you'll be killed. You'll be killed, don't you understand? You're so right. I might be killed if I stay. Why do you want to do it? Why?